Earl de Lavoir. Earl de Lavoir listened to E.L. at where is a title in the peerage of Great Britain. It was created in 1761 for John West, 7th Baron de Lavoir. The Earl holds the subsidiary titles of Viscount Cantaloupe, 1761, in the peerage of Great Britain, Baron de Lavoir, 1572, in the peerage of England, and Baron Buckhurst, of Buckhurst in the county of Sussex, 1864, in the peerage of the United Kingdom. The barony de Lavoir is of the second creation, however. It bears the precedence of the first creation, 1299, and has done so since shortly after the death of William West, first Baron de Lavoir. The family seat is Buckhurst Park, near Withingham, Sussex. Etymology the name de la war is from Sussex and of Anglo-French origin. It came maybe from Laguerra, a Norman Ludit. This toponymic could derive from the Latin word ager, from the Breton gorn, or from the late Latin werktum fallow. The toponyms gara, gare also appear in old texts cited by Lucian Musset, where the word gara means gore. It could also be linked with a patronymic from the Old Norse ver. The barony and earldom are both pronounced de la Ware, as in the American state of Delaware. Baronies of de la Ware. The barony de la Ware is of the second creation, however. It bears the precedence of the first creation, 1299, and has done so since shortly after the death of William West, first baron de la Ware. The precise legal situation concerning the second creation is murky. The modern rules attempt to regularize medieval practice, but there are many cases that cannot easily be made to fit, whether because a local custom was involved, or because an exception was made, or because the rules were still in flux. This is such a case because William West was heir male, but not heir general. Because the original barony was created by writ, descent is presumed to be to the heir or heirs general and therefore it fell into abeyance between the daughters of Sir Owen West and their heirs in turn. The second creation has been viewed in at least three ways. As a means of placing beyond dispute an inheritance that should have gone to the heir male in the first place. The act concerning precedence is understood as rectifying the side effect this had of altering the precedence. Accordingly, some writers ignore the second creation when numbering, Thus Thomas West, 3rd Baron de Lavoir, is sometimes called the 12th Baron de Lavoir. As an extraordinary act resolving an important estate that should not be left in abeyance. In this case, the previous barony was intended to be extinguished and the act altering precedence is difficult to understand other than as political expediency a part of an effort to solve relatively complex problems of inheritance case by case before the doctrine of abeyance as it now exists had been worked out. Connection to American Geographical Names In United States history books, Thomas West, 3rd Baron de la Ware, is often named simply as Lord Delaware. He served as governor of the Jamestown Colony in Virginia, and the Delaware Bay was named after him. The state of Delaware, the Delaware River, and the Delaware Indian tribe were so called after the bay, and thus ultimately derived their names from the barony. Many other American counties, townships, and the like derive their names directly or indirectly from this connection. Other family members. Notable descendants of George Sackville West, 5th Earl de Lavoir, include the author's lady Margaret Sackville, Vita Sackville West, Nigel Nicholson, and Adam Nicholson. Another member of the West family was William Cornwallis West, who was the grandson of the Honorable Frederick West, youngest son of the second Earl. Cornwallis West was the father of George Cornwallis West, Daisy, Princess of Pless, and Constance, Duchess of Westminster. Barons de Lavoir, First Creation 1299. Roger Lavoir, 1st Baron de Lavoir, F.L., 1320. John Lavoir, 2nd Baron de Lavoir, C., 
1277-1347, Roger Lawar, 3rd Baron de Lawar C., 1329-1370, John Lawar, 4th Baron de Lawar C., 1344-1398, Thomas Lawar, 5th Baron de Lawar C., 1352-1427, Reginald West, 6th Baron de Lawar C., 1394-1451, Richard West, 7th Baron de Lawar C., 1430-1476, Thomas West, 8th Baron de Lawar C., 1457-1525, Thomas West, 9th Baron de Lawar C., 1475-1554, either abeyant or extinguished or merged, 1554. Barons de Lawar, Second Creation, 1572. William West, First Baron de Lawar, 1520-1595, or Tenth Baron. Thomas West, Second Baron de Lawar, 1556-1602, or Eleventh Baron. Thomas West, Third Baron de Lawar, 1577-1618, or Twelfth Baron. Henry West, Fourth Baron de Lawar, 1603-1628, or Thirteenth Baron. Charles West, Fifth Baron de Lawar, 1626-1687, or Fourteenth Baron. John West, Sixth Baron de Lawar, 1663-1723, or Fifteenth Baron. John West, 7th Baron de Lawar, 1693-1766 or 16th Baron, who was created Earl de Lawar and Viscount Cantaloupe in 1761. Earls de Lawar, 1761. John West, 1st Earl de Lawar, 1693-1766. John West, 2nd Earl de Lawar, 1729-1777. William Augustus West, 3rd Earl de Lawar, 1757-1783. John Richard West, 4th Earl de Lawar, 1758-1795. George John Sackville West, 5th Earl de Lawar, 1791-1869. Charles Richard Sackville West, 6th Earl de Lawar, 1815-1873. Reginald Windsor Sackville, 7th Earl de Lawar, 1817-1896. Gilbert George Reginald Sackville, 8th Earl de Lawar, 1869-1915. Herbrand Edward Dundonald Brassy Sackville, 9th Earl de Lawar, 1900-1976. William Herbrand Sackville, 10th Earl de Lawar, 1921-1988. William Herbrand Sackville, 11th Earl de Lawar B. 1948, the heir apparent, is the present holder's son William Herbrand Thomas Sackville, Lord Buckhurst B. 1979, the heir apparent's heir apparent is his son William Lionel Robert Sackville B. 2014.